What's the best types of images for Facebook ads to get personal training clients? In this video here today, I'm gonna to share with you the five types of images that you wanna be using to get clients from social media advertising. Hey, Lee Constantinou here, founder of Personal Trainers Elite, helping personal trainers attract high-end clients and grow their income with online marketing. And in this video here today, I'm gonna to share my five image style guide to get personal training clients from social media. So these are clients that you can get for one-on-one -on -one personal training or online coaching, but you wanna be using these five types of images on your ads. This comes after testing thousands and thousands of pounds. I've spent probably over 50 or 60,000 pounds in the past 12 months on Facebook ads and a lot of data and a lot of research to find what works best. And what I've discovered is when it comes to getting fitness clients from social media advertising, these five types of images are the best when it comes to getting people's attention and turning that attention into clients. Okay, so I'm gonna break them down for you so you can go away, go and start collecting these styles of images for your ads. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna share a top tip when it comes to putting these ads together inside the Facebook Business Manager. So this style guide isn't limited to one being better than the other. Remember this, everything we're doing is a test. There's no better or best until Facebook or people, let's call them, come into our sales process. So if there's one you think is gonna work best, great, but do not be attached to one of these images. So I just wanna put that out there first. So you've got lifestyle images. So these are lifestyle in that you are out with your friends, you are by a beach, you are hanging out, just doing normal lifestyle things. And typically I find lifestyle images are the kind of outdoor images which are quite aspirational, right? You see these on Instagram, you know, where people are liking those kind of lifestyle images a lot. And so because they become so popular, people tend to like them and it gets people's attention, right? So to remember one thing with all these images, we're, all, we're just trying to get people to stop and pay attention. So lifestyle images that create a lifestyle, an aspirational lifestyle that people might like is a great way of getting attention. So just think right now, if you've scored Instagram, those images that you've stopped at because they portray a lifestyle that you aspire to, those prospects, those people out there who wanna have a happier, more fulfilled life will also be stopping on them as well. So think of lifestyle images that you can get of yourself or of people to portray that. The second type of image are exercise images, right? Where you are doing an exercise, whether it's in the gym or at home, but performing a movement that is clear that indicates the ad is related to some form of fitness. Okay, so the reason why these ads and images rather work well is because they're very clearly identified to be a fitness oriented ad geared towards some sort of personal training or online coaching. And so you can get the attention of people very quickly because people that are looking for something to do with health and fitness will stop and pay attention. Because remember, that is the goal of these types of ads. Okay, so the third type of ad is fitness or physique ads. So these are kind of more the selfie style ads or pictures of you, your physique, you kind of showing a bit of your body. Now, the caveat to having these types of images on Facebook is they don't like when you are close up on body parts. So you don't wanna be close up on your abs, on your butt, on your chest, because Facebook won't allow that image to run, it goes against their policies. And so they have policies for all these kind of ads, but that's one thing I've noticed they don't like. So if you're gonna use a fitness physique image, make sure it's a full length, it shows the full body in proportion. Um, and yeah, these are great because people that have a fitness goal they're aspiring to, when they see a body that they like, they tend to stop, they tend to click, they tend to like it, they tend to engage, right? So it's great because you, that's what we want them to do. And I've noticed these types of images get really high click-through rates, right? That's clicking from the ad into your funnel, into your website, wherever you're sending them to, very high because they get attention. Okay, so if you do these kind of image ads, the one key tip to making these successful is 
having an image of the ideal client, right? So if you're a guy who's 20 years old, your physique image might not be kind of aspirational to a woman in her 50s, right? So that might not be the ideal image for that type of person. So think of someone in their 50s, find an image of a woman in her 50s that looks good and use that. So just try to use images of your ideal client's ideal body type to get their attention. The fourth type of image are food images, right? Let's face it, everybody loves food and it's a great way of getting attention because everybody's curious by healthy eating, dirty food and all kinds of food related things, right? That's why Pinterest, Instagram have become so popular because people love taking pictures of food. And so it's, again, it's really a great way of getting attention um, and getting people to stop because it's either portraying the healthy lifestyle that people wanna have or showing some sort of food that might be seen you know, naughty that also gets their attention, that kind of food porn that we see people hashtagging and stuff like that. So anything that's working on Instagram or very you know, visual social media platforms will pretty much work on the ads as well. So um, another tip as well, if you're gonna use food images is sometimes having people with the food. So either holding the food, or eating the food, creates more of a lifestyle feel as well. So you're kind of combining these two here. And then the fifth type of image are images with your clients. So images with somebody exercising, working out with you to show you in action doing your work, right? Doing your craft. Um, and these have worked really well for me in the past. I've tested these out. Images with clients, images kind of standing with clients, like, you know, we're friends inside a gym. Anything where you're showing a bit of interaction with another person and it's you great way of kind of helping people who are looking at these ads visualize themselves in that client's position and then potentially working with you. So great way of getting attention. Now, the caveat to client images is to not put before and after images. Facebook will not run those images because they go against their policy. So if you wanna run a client image, um, you can either put their after image with a bit of context around it but what I find works best is the interactive ones where you are with the client interacting, showing you kind of doing your craft. So those are the five different types of images to use on Facebook ads. Now, we're not gonna be putting these ads out one at a time. When you build out your Facebook ads, you can test all of these at the same time. And that's the really cool thing about Facebook ads is you don't have to just put one and hit and hope for the best. You could test all five of these images in one go to find the one that resonates most with your audience. And when you find that one, you're gonna increase the budget, you're gonna turn the other ones off and you're gonna go all out on the best performing images that's bringing you leads and converting those into clients. And so that's the image style guide if you wanna get clients on social media using Facebook and Instagram ads. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, Give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel for more training videos like this. And hey, leave a comment below if you wanna know more about Facebook ads or these image style guides here today, leave a comment below or pop over to the free Facebook group, Personal Trainers Elite, where we share more free tips like this. And so as always, I'll see you in the next one.